Until this second, I haven't ever known that my phone is water resistant. Oh, 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 Maybe oh. I have to pay more attention for the operation manual. But anyway, I have to say thank you to Sebastian for drying it using his jacket. First of all, sorry for not uploading any video last week. I just didn't feel I want to go out without a wide angle lens after losing my 18mm lens. But luckily bad things can be good sometimes. It took me a while until I could decide which lens I will have. Until I saw a good and long review about the Sigma 820mm f4 to 5.6 and I decided to get one. I am really so happy with this lens. The 10mm give an amazing photos with a focal lens which is way different than the 18mm. We are here and the insects just <laughs> started to bite us. I have that with me. And Sebastian just... He brings rocks for composition. <laughs> yeah, and I am trying here... I'm trying to use these small rocks. So today we are here just to try my new lens, Sigma uh, 820mm lens. <laughs> I just said to Sebastian I want to try this lens and he said we can, talk, we can go together. Yeah, I will not make uh, you know a review or something like that. You can find <laughs> uh, a lot of uh, reviews in YouTube. This is not a new lens, this is uh, a lens made in it's 2008 I think. Uh, not a new lens, you can find thousands of reviews in YouTube. I want to try to make wide angle photo. This is the first time ever in my life, the first time ever I will use a wide angle lens. I always use the 18 millimeter lens. That's the smallest focal length I have ever used in my life. The problem today is that I don't have any filter like uh, polarizer filter or ND filter. So amazing about this lens is that uh, I have a very small uh, rocks and in the picture looks yeah a little bit uh, yeah bigger because uh, yeah they are at the beginning of the lens and there's a distortion because of the wide ang uh, angle lens there's a distortion. So I'm trying just to put it at the foreground and make yeah something like something interesting in the foreground i will take three photos the first photo i will focus here the second photo here and the last photo at the end of the lake like always yeah focus stuck because this lens uh, these strokes are near the lens and i can i can take it uh, in the focus from something like uh, 30 centimeter to the end maybe I will I will just in Photoshop clone some small rocks here I will step in water if I want to remove it so I I will try just to use Photoshop to just clean small rocks here like yeah the group of rocks here I just want this and I don't want any distraction and I'm not sure maybe I will remove this also so just like this so what i will also do i will take a photo to this only for the sky because i don't have uh, like uh, 
graduated in the filter. I have good news. Sebastian has two filters and he just, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, the sun is starting to rise. I'm trying here another photo for the rocks which Sebastian has just made. <laughs> and I will try with the 30 second F. Let's say F8 and 30 second. And I'm making also focus stacking. What I like about this lens, I think more professional than the 1805 millimeter because I'm using the ND filter and I don't have to take off the ND filter to, to focus here on the, on the rocks. Why? Because I have the numbers of the focus ring so I can uh, think about the distance of this rock is something like uh, yeah, 40 centimeter or 50 centimeter so I don't have to take off the ND filter and focus I can focus manually and see the number uh, like 2 feet or 50 centimeters something like that and I can focus without without seeing anything or without taking off the ND filter 10 F stop ND filter I can't see anything so another photo only for the sky, I will put it 15 seconds shutter speed because I don't want any harsh highlights on the sky. I like to have all the information. Und sind gute Steine. Now I think I have to say that I am not a big fan of the blue hour. For me, I find this photo a lot better than the first one. Maybe it's the rocks or also the ND filter, thank you Sebastian again. But for me the sun added glow and warm which made the photo more attractive than the first one with the blue tones. As you can see here, I didn't make a big movement with my tripod but the whole scene looks different because of putting the camera horizontal. To be able to take a photo with the 18mm and make it look somehow like this, I have to make 4 to 5 photos panorama.
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed and you want to see other videos in the future, please subscribe. That will make my day. See you next week. Bye.